All right, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Marco from Citus Data, and one of my favorite things about Postgres is its extensibility, that you can just add new features to the database without even actually having to change it. And uh, actually this morning in the train from Amsterdam to here, I was trying to see if I could use extensions to create a uh, distributed database on Postgres that's optimized for geospatial time series data, which is a bit crazy, but um, extensions actually make that possible. Like, when, like there's a lot of very cool uh, open source third party extensions for Postgres, and uh, they all like kind of serve different areas like uh, partitioning or uh, you know, foreign data wrappers to talk to other databases. Uh, but what's really quite exciting is that you can actually just combine all of these in Postgres and SQL queries. You can query one FDW and write to another, or you can uh, partition your tables and make the partitions FDWs. Um, so I was thinking, what if I take a bunch of these extensions together, take Postgres 10, uh, PostGIS, PGPartman, and Citus, uh, what would I get? Uh, probably something like this. Uh, I don't know if anyone recognizes this game. I really spent a lot of time in this game. Uh, it's called The Incredible Machine. But actually, um, but as it turns out, these uh, extensions combine pretty well. Like Postgres makes this uh, a pretty seamless experience. If you put different extensions together, they still work together very nicely. So actually, if you take these, four, these three extensions, you can get a pretty good database for analyzing large volumes of geospatial data. So uh, in case you're not familiar with PostGIS, uh, it basically adds some geometry data types to Postgres, so you can like make points and, and polygons and put them in your tables. And then has some functions, like uh, does this point fall within this polygon? And the polygon might actually be a, a represent a neighborhood or a country or a city, or is this point within a particular distance of a point? So you can do geospatial queries on your data, which is useful if you're collecting maybe sensor data from cars or phones. Uh, PG Partman is basically the tool you need to make Postgres partitioning uh, really work for you. Like Postgres uh, has now native partitioning, which is amazing and it's gonna get more amazing in Postgres 11, but it's not automated. You have to create partitions yourself usually. Um, but PG Partman, you just basically do one function call and it sets up all the partitions for you. It can drop part all partitions automatically. And the benefit, one of the benefits of partitioning is, uh, well one, if you delete all data, you don't have to do a big table scan followed by vacuum. It's very fast, you just drop the partition. If you're just selecting recent data, your selects are much faster than if you have to query all the data uh, because of partitioning. And also, because you don't have giant indexes, insertion is usually faster. So those are a lot of benefits. Um, Citus is a tool for sharding a table across multiple Postgres servers, and it has various features, like it can parallelize select queries across all those servers. Uh, if you copy, you can get some parallelism. You can also do like insert select in parallel from one table into another. And you can always add more nodes if you need more CPU power. And so what's interesting, you can take Citus, you can take PG Partman, and you can actually put them together. And you can create sh tables that are sharded by one dimension and then partitioned by time. So you can still drop old data really quickly by dropping the old partitions of each individual shard. Each individual shard is a Postgres table, which is now a partition Postgres table. Uh, so you kind of can get the best of the world's worlds by putting two extensions together. So I was playing with this, uh, as I said, on the train, and uh, I found some taxi data. There's a very interesting blog post. And I put uh, up uh, Citus CloudFormation and kind of started loading the data. Uh, the tool comes with some table definition. I just added the calls for making the table partitioned and distributed. And then I just ran the data loading tool, and it, it just works. Like, it, I'm, it's loading the data into my partition distributed table. And uh, once I did that, I could run my parallel selects uh, using Citus, and that ran at around 30 million rows per second. And I could delete the, the data within milliseconds, the older data. And I got some of the ben other benefits of partitioning, like here I'm only querying a year, which makes my queries faster. So I don't have a conclusion. This was the first time I tried this. And uh, it's really exciting now how all these different features and different extensions in Postgres can be combined into kind of greater things. So thank you very much.